Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the North for another episode of Battle Brothers, Anatomists and Stronghold mod. Last time, we finally took out the Goblin City, wherever the remains of that may be. I think it was like around here somewhere. Nobody cares where it is. Nobody cares where it was. It is now destroyed. Only another several thousand Goblin Cities to go. I give you all the best, Goblin Slayer. Um, but, as we are now in the South, we don't have a lot of money thanks to... Well, I'm not saying thanks to... Having to buy Linus, he has already proven that he's done a pretty good job. And he's already level 4, so that's a great start. Um, I'm going to stay down the south for a bit and try and make my money back, because we do not have a lot of money going for us. So I'm going to sleep on it a bit, I'm going to let everyone rest, because we've had a hell of a journey. And uh, then hopefully we'll get the arena going, and also, I mean, I mean I'm hoping for a tournament, but every time I save there's going to be a tournament, there never is a tournament. I don't think I've seen once in this entire series so far. Um, but then I'm going to try and do some contracts. How, how are we with Town Weir? Slightly more than neutral. Mm, okay, alright. Maybe I'll maybe I'll try and get these guys up to Figgy. I think my, my focus today is just making money and having a bit of fun. And then I'll start doing... I'll do another legendary location next episode. Uh, I probably will... I think I'm going to do the Sunken Library next. Um, but like I said, I did want to bring Alwyn with me for narrative reasons, so I will have to go back to Carebot and go grab him at some point, but that's fine because I need to go deposit someone so I can come down and hire a, um, a another gladiator who will be our last character of this series, because after that we've got like 39 chodes, and there's not much left to do other than the legendary locations, and doing that bloody... Ugh, if for it an undead fight, but I need to get some mercenaries to come down with me to do that because it's too mad. Anyway, let's do some fun today. Let's just have a laugh. Let's find some more fame stuff. God, I hope. During camp, as the men take a much needed break after the massive assault and victory against the disgusting goblins in their mountain-based stronghold, a pale imitation of Careboard, he decides to have a nice peaceful drink by the fire whilst most of the chodes have bedded down to recover. Except for the two regulars who normally join you at the fire in these instances. Always a welcomed conversation. Colgan mentions that since he has recovered, from his alcohol dependency, he has been writing much more again, to which Centurius agrees with a hearty northern grunt. Hmm. <clears throat> As he takes a swig himself. You're welcome to take a read again, Captain. Colgan chimes in. You begin. This is from Colgan. I haven't written down on our story for a while. Apologies, dear reader. I've been busy in and out of care board, and I've been speaking with our dear leader of the Chodes for a church. I admit I've missed a touch of divinity, and I've been making small donations with part of my pay for the citizens around it. Let's get back on track, shall we? So, I've been in a couple of fights and I've been bestowed a necklace of Naxera teeth. I'm a little taken aback, to be honest, but I gladly accept it, to reaffirm my spirit and morale on the battlefield. I fought orcs, way too many of them. Raiders, brigands, a whole undead army. Undead army? Not alone, of course, that's a fool's errand. I wasn't with Centurius there, but we all develop in different ways. Maybe he was watching me. I personally still struggle with the weight of the orc cleaver, but maybe if I were to find something similar in quantity, quantity and quality, I suppose, <laughs> quantity of girth, but man-made and not orc-made, beside myself while in combat, I try to guide the newer brothers, leave their strikes to aim true, but it's not my hands and body they're using, battered, scarred, with acclaimed experience and expertise, but what they have, young, eager, and not yet tenderized flesh, that needs to be trained on. Take that as you will. You turn to the next page. On another topic of discussion, I really appreciate the find on Centurius' helm. New helm, it fits him perfectly, and not to mention it was his past house colours showing. Truly, it was meant for him. Also to say my part in what's happened on our recent improvement on our keep, we had quite the fights, two to be precise, but we had numbers on both battles on our side, the experience, and the comrades I'll always love to fight alongside. The first battle was 36 of us, against 29 undead, two necromancers, the rest were mostly mindless creatures of the dead, except for a few... heroes, fallen, and into the hands of unscrupulous bastards. First victory, and then on to the next. Afterwards, without any reason, House Grimmond, the very house our brother Centurius came from. I have no clue why they do it. No reason. We stand 35 to 31, but we pull a victory with a few brothers defeated, but their stories live on, as I tell them, and as our brothers do. You note that the tone changes. Evidently, Centurius took over. Ugh, what a fucking week Colgan's been. A bit sad recently. The acclamation of... Hmm, accumu accumulation. 
of dead brothers got to him. That just shows how considerate and noble he is. More than I could ever be. I hope I could be of some use to ease his mind. He is my friend, after all. And I hope the company commander won't be too harsh on him. Besides that, we did a massive job. We fought back a greenskin siege. Well, the Chords did. I was recovering from me wounds and right after Corgan's breaking. Uh, I might go get a drink with him and try to make him drink a bit less, but we'll see. <laughs> what a week it has been. <laughs> it's, uh... <laughs> I admit, now that I'm looking at alcohol, it doesn't sound so bad. Besides, I feel more spirited, and I may not see too clearly. But I can certainly see that I'm more focused on the fleshy parts of our enemies, rather than their metal ones. Well, I admit, a lot of our brothers died. And it made me choose this. Maybe my mind has seen too many dead friends die in battle. All the news of them passing, something clicked somewhere. But let's not worry about their deaths. I drink in their honor. I keep a water skin full of meads. It keeps me awake during the day. All right, one more page before I should rest myself for the night. Bloody hellfire, what a wild week. I fought a lot recently, which is weird because I was supposed to let the new arrivals get some fighting experience. But the commander said, and I quote, that I need you more than you'd think. I didn't really argue with him. I wanted to go kill some things for a while now, even though I like training our mercenaries, I must admit. We started by going to this massive goblin city, and the strange knight bearing no crest that I recognised said they had a plan to smoke them out. So the commander followed his instruction and went and burned out three goblin encampments nearby. They were annoying, those slippery little bastards, but worse was coming. After that we went back to Kiarbord and the commander took me aside and started asking me about my house and their battle tactics. I answered him and asked him why. He told me that we were going to fight them to liberate some potential recruits. At first, I didn't know what to think. I may have been dishonoured by my house, but it was still my home, my people. I know that my family is with the company now and with Colgan, so I decided to tell the commander everything I knew and asked him to be put in the front line. He agreed. The battle was brutal. No one died, but there were some close calls. After I killed a few footmen in front of me, I charged their back line. But that's when I saw him. A billman. Me baby brother. Goffield. Holding the pole hammer I used to blunt that fucking noble. When he recognised me under my helmet, he went into a rage and solely attacked me. I couldn't do it. But I did the act in the end. I... I killed him. I must not think about it. They never have to know. Not even Colgan. Oh, gods, why? Why did he have to be there? I, I should have known. I brought shame to our name. No wonder Gothiel had to clear it by joining the footman. Damn it. Maybe. Maybe it's time to tell the commander my name. My family's name. To atone for my sins. The sins of Centurious Fallhammer. Wait, what? No, I think I've read enough for now, but that is quite the reveal of his true name, so I suppose I will update his name at some point, although this is post Nervan talking, so it's probably going to be next episode, but he will now be known as Centurious Fallhammer, and he will atone for what he has done to his brother and the dishonor he thinks he's brought onto his house, even if, you know, he has a new place and a new family and a new house to care for now, who care for him as well. Right, back to it. Enough depression now. Okay, let's start off the day with something nice and easy. I assume nice and easy. It could be actually completely terrible. But uh, I could have actually been secretly screwed by uh, Tamwir. But at the same time, I hope not. This should take, like, all, all no time whatsoever. It's just, like, a very simple nomad fight. It's not even that much money. I'm just doing it to kill some time and also make Tamwir like us a bit more. I think this might be the episode where I try and make Tamwir... Our southern city buddies, maybe, depending on how hard it takes. Um, I also saw that there was only one person who actually wanted to get the, wanted to use the countenance. Um, so I probably will give it to them. The only thing I will say is with the countenance, yeah, okay, it's a, it's a big old buff to armor, but the whole point of it is if you get hit, it reflects damage on the attacker. But if you're the kind of character that doesn't really get hit that much. It kind of loses its charm slightly, if you get me. Because um, there's not really much point attaching it to someone who doesn't really get hit. 
because its ability gets a bit wasted. But we'll, we'll, I'll put it on, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, just, just, just my two cents on that one. Right. You get there for next turn? Yes, you can. You can get there for next turn. All right. Should be able to lay into quite a lot of them to begin with. And maybe zombify this guy. They won't see that one coming. They never do. They never do. Okay, a little bit concerned that this guy might exist a bit. But other than that, we could probably push up completely. Uh, actually, yeah. Screw it. They're not really uh, in the carry mood for it, I don't think. There we go. No, you don't don't stun the stunner. He he stuns the stun. He do, he does the stunning, I should say. I got my words very mixed up there. Not bad. Not bad for nighttime. A lot of a lot of two-handers, a lot of two-handed pole hammers I'm seeing around. Got a two at nighttime. Ooh, that's not ideal. Oh, this must be a simple supply run. A simple supply run. Well, mostly simple, anyway. You can stand there and fire. Yeah, you can. That's fine. Right, he's stunned, at least. I'm getting a little worried that the whole having no shield is becoming a little less viable. Um, you do seem to be getting... Really? There's a... Interesting that there is a nomad leader here when... The amount of money we're getting paid is basically nothing. But, oh god. Okay, well. Alright, two stuns are plenty. He he he. Uh, 55. 55, you're basically dead. You just don't know it yet. God, their shields are a pain. Well, you've got to deal with your friend now, so uh, have fun with that. <laughs> oh, guys. This is supposed to be a warm-up. I hope you're getting this all out of your systems now, because I'm not accepting this on any, any other fight. I'm really not. I know they're all little dodgy bastards, but come on. Well, at least I've got to deal with that now. Okay, maybe we don't have to deal with that anymore. But at least someone wasted their turn a bit. Uh, Cyril, buddy, it's a simple, it's a simple mission. I mean, to be fair, you've only got a chance of 17 to get hit, but unfortunately you've got hit by more 17s than I can recall in the past few fights, so... A little unfortunate, I guess. Once again, as it always is. Well, he's running at least. He's gone. There we go, there's there's the momentum I was looking for. Oh man. That's just unfortunate. Okay, big big hammer time. And you know what? Big dog time as well. Show them power of the north. Through their hounds. Uh go around, please. Hey, too tired. Fair enough. This guy will not go down. Wow, he still won't go down. You got him. Wow, I mean, fair play to June Aid. Mmm, Linus. Ah, Jimothy. Yeah, this is what I mean about my no shield thing. Like, you've got the dodge, but. Which is all well and good. But it doesn't seem to be popping off too much. So I'm a little bit concerned. You're alive still! Wow, that guy must have rolled really well. He rolled a seven in every instance, so. Yeah, he. Did. That's actually quite strange how well he rolled, but okay. So, so let's have a look, let's have a look, let's have a look. So yeah, your melee defense is probably about the same as some two-handers, which is kind of okay to be fair. Um, hmm. Okay, well. It could be worse. <laughs> it could always be worse. I guess. I just need to, yeah, I need to think about how to uh, handle it a bit more. Sucks not having a shield, doesn't it? Bye. 
Uh, flip. No. Be tired? I get it. Oh, guys. What's going on up there? You are lucky. That's fine. Send him back in a body bag. He's gonna need one. Man, this this fight was, was not worth it. It was totally not worth it. Oh dear, oh dear. It's a little it's comical really. But he went, oh it's I think it's it's literally like nine hundred crowns are getting paid. Which is not a lot by any means. Oh dear. Always gotta remember that Battle Brothers is not on your side. It will always try and do you in for your money. Not real money, but you know, mercenary money. The contracts, they are sometimes just not fair. And I know this. I know this. But I do I do I do like that it helps the relation of the old uh, of Tanweir, so. I guess that's fine. There you are. There he is. That took a while, but he's, he's worked up now. Cool. That must be an awful thing to see before then he dies. That's what you're going to become, mate. Good dog. Good dog. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Cool. We're done. Oh, man. I was very, very intent of getting that man killed, and he got chased down by all three dogs and Francis, then just to get decapitated by the armor. So, uh, yeah, he had it coming. I mean, that was kind of pointless. I mean, it was definitely a time killer. I'm definitely going to sell this stuff for sure, but uh, it wasn't really worth 810 crowns. But hey, it's something to do at nighttime when all we would do is normally just sleep. All right, so there is a Blade Dancer. I am going to try and get as many people in the arena who are pretty close to, like, the next level, just so we get some, like, resolve out of it, basically. Uh, let's wait for them to come to us. Might as well make them waste the little bit extra. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Hmm. 60%. There you go. Shot him in the head. Nice. 5%. 27. 55. Ugh, man. 39. Yeah, all right. He's bleeding a little bit, but not that much. He's going to come around and probably lock Minim down, let's be honest here. Michael is getting very overwhelmed. He doesn't seem too happy to be here. No, and that's a 37%, which isn't great anymore. Okay. Slight improvement, I would say. Although, I think Blade Dancers do have freedom of movement. It is kind of their stick. 5%. Well, annoy him a bit. This is fine. Getting locked down like that is fine. There you go. Come on, guys. Weck up. It is, a, it is a fight to the death. I just want to remind you guys of that. Oh, boy. Okay, well. Thank you. Also, shield. Oh, wow, his shield's still there. That was a 22%. He might just bleed out, honestly. You gonna bleed out? <laughs> That's one way to deal with a blade dancer. Make them run out of blood. Right then. Cleanup time. Nobody got done in now. Oh, never mind. He's actually just going to... Cool. Not worried at all. Only slightly. And I'll take... I'll take 1,400. How close is everyone else to that level? So, you're not too far off. I think it's, what, 11 or 12? It's 12. So, you've got two more. You've got, like, what, three more. Uh, Minim, you've got two more. And then uh, Colgan, you've got uh, you've got quite a bit more to be fair. You've got you're only like halfway, but that's fine. That's fine. Anyway, here's all your stuff back. You get to keep it because she didn't die. Uh, let's see if they've got anything new for us. No, I guess I'll just walk around the desert for a bit and see what I can find. Mm, I'm not going all that far. I'm definitely not going this far either. No thanks. All right, so I did find one place in the desert sands whilst I was combing the entire thing, because otherwise I didn't find. Well, I ain't found shit. Uh, but this place looks promising, I guess. There is two ancient priests. 
because uh, one of them couldn't decide on who was the other, so they had a bit of a fight, and now they're like co-ancient priests. Also, I want to test the Obsidian Dagger against skeletons, because I've never done it before. I assume it's not going to work, but necromancers can resurrect skeletons if necromancers are in the fight. So is it the same with the dagger? I don't think it's going to be, but it's worth checking out, just so I know for another big fight that's going to be coming up at some point, where I can almost not see that because of the desert sands. Okay, fine, I guess? This is less fine. If you guys want to stay back there, that's great. You do that. What's the chance of that? Oof. Alright. You shoot any priests? Yeah. You actually can. Alright. Try and shoot as many backliners as you can, because they're going to suck the most. Oh. Hold your forts. Uh, you go pop over there, me old mucker. You get in the back line there. Soupy. You do you, buddy. Which you will be doing. Uh, Bigler, try and get their attention to follow you a bit. Let's see if you can get as much of them walking around not knowing what they're doing. Oh, one of them's almost dead. Wow, you're not- you're still not dead. Hmm. Who decided that? You're still not dead! Jesus, what do you need, buddy boy? There you go. Christ almighty! Uh, sure. Big ham -mer. Not big ham, big hammer. Oh, we are going after him. Even if just by a smidge. Well, mm, alright. It didn't exactly fully work. Unfortunate. Well, you might as well just wait for them to come around that, that place. And then smack them. And then, hey, rinse and repeat, baby. The skeletons are all dum-dums. Well, maybe not all of them are dum-dums. <laughs> okay, this one's a dum-dum. Ooh. Uh, 55, 55. Hmm. Oh no. It's here. Ow! You still on the same... Square? Or circumference area? At least these guys aren't moving, so that's fine. Jump up. Cough. Get get your cough out. That's fine. Uh, you'll probably, I'll probably get you to destroy the shield next turn. Oh no, they are moving up with their mates though, aren't they? Right. Unfortunately, that did not work, but, uh... That kind of did. Can you back off slightly to get out of the poison? Sorry, Soupy. It's for a good cause. I mean, it didn't really do that much, to be honest. Any more dead? No, no, no. Get off. Right, soften them up a bit. 73. Shame. Only 56. It's like poison running through my veins. Bonk. Oh, no bonk! I'm very disappointed in the lack of bonk. Centurius has got me. I mean, one, one, it, let's be honest, one inch of priest is enough. Two is pushing it a bit. What's your chance? 36? Just destroy a shield, bro. And next turn, he ain't got a ch Ow. Chance. Those are getting pretty close to 50-50. I don't mean the UK game show from way back when. Which my score was never on, I don't think. Okay, well at least it's the back- Ow! Really? He rolled a 9. Well that roll was some bullshit, let me tell you. A nine. Getting a C. With that. Right, well, 43 is not ideal. Like I said, it's not ideal. Uh, switch the roo. And then. You hit one. God, there's going to be a lot of coughing boys after this. A lot of coughing boys. 
Okay, that's another one gone. And another one gone. All right, nice one, Bigler. Absolutely showing up to work today. All right, that's getting old. That's getting old fast. Uh, seriously? What's the chance? Okay. Well, at least he's not going anywhere. At least Centurius can't run away, but, which is all well and good, but if he's covered in this anyway, it's not really helping him by any means. Can you still move and shoot? You can. Basically dead. Let's switch to that. Might have to get ready to pull him out if he's not. God damn. I suppose it's only a 43%, but god damn. Okay. Can't really, like, finagle him too much either. And get him out quite so well. Good god, man. You ancient auxiliaries and your rolls. Oh god, all these are 50%! Getting to see. Okay, nobody's horrified, though. Oh, man. Now you are. What's going on there? It's showing that you're not, but then you all of a sudden are. Very weird. Very weird. Right, time to get you out. In some regard, time to get you out. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. It has gone this way this turn. This time. This turn. You might even die from the poison. Good lord. Right, hang on then. Randy Moore's dead. Ah! Raz getting some melee kills in. Very nice. A little bit worried about him stabbing him, though. Where are we? Oh, just a poison. Oh, man. This fight is way harder than I was expecting. Like, where were they hiding this one in their pocket for today? Jesus. Okay, he's not horrified, though. Spin. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. There he is. It's been a while, Bigler, but man, what a champ. Right, are we done now? It's just the it's just the priest left, right? Get everyone out of the clouds. Well, lesson learned. That does not bring the scaling tons back. I can put them in the ground permanently. A few surprising close calls, if I'm quite honest. But uh, we did it. Not that uh, there wasn't really anything there worth it. But uh, I guess I'll take the tools and the crowns and the XP and the stuff to sell. But. I was hoping for something a little bit more, but let's get back to Tanweir, see if they've got anything fun to do. These Ifrits can also just leave me alone. Oh my god, just go away. Okay, um, our money situation has gone a little bit better. Um, if we do this one, uh, I think Minim gets to the highest rank of Gladiator, which, to be fair, from being an indebted slave to like an arena champion, I think that's a pretty cool little narrative thing going on. Oh, 76 chance, rolled 77. Not with those rolls, buddy. Come on, at this rate, you're going to be dead. Oh, they're going around for him as well. Both of them are, actually. Kind of insulting, really, when you think about it. Well, it's two-hander versus two-hander. Which one's going to drop first? Ooh, well, that was a weird twist of events. Oh, boy. Well, at least he's... Man, as if they're just destroying Terra like that. Terra's got 42 melee defense. Yeah, we're hitting him with 20%, so... Can only do so much on that one, unfortunately. There's the stun. And there's the 95. 
And he's also getting hit by the Lindworm damage. And also, Terra's gonna return to power. Oh, there he is. There he is. There's our secret unhold Lindworm hybrid bad boy. Finish the job. Okay. Someone else finished the job. There we go. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. And just like that, Minim is now an arena fighter. So he has gone from an indebted slave to arena veteran. I mean, don't get me wrong, his, his resolve is still bloody awful. But for an indebted slave, you know what? He's killed 197 people, and he is also loved by the arena. And he's also a chance he might not die when he goes down. Wouldn't that be a thing? Right. Well, our money situation has recovered a bit, but Tamwia has basically run out of food and tools. Well, they've not run out of food, but they've definitely run out of tools, which is a massive problem. And they've got no contracts because they're a boring bunch of bastards. So, how much did I do with... Ugh, I didn't even really get that far with them. I mean, I can only do so much when they're not giving me contracts. I guess I'm leaving in a second if they don't give me anything. I'll give it one more day, and then I'm out. Alright, you know what? I did, like, one more arena thing, and there was nothing else really here. So, I'm just gonna bug out of there whilst I can, because it was just drying up more than the desert that surrounds it, from what I gather. Like I said last time or earlier this episode, uh, I will get and pick up our last gladiator friend when we come down to do the sunken library just because I'm fully at 20 men at the moment, so I don't have room right now. Let me go a long way for this to see if I can find anyone worth killing, eh? That was just six nomads. Unless... Nah. God, there's no one... Is, is there no one worth killing? I'm not including you, buddy. You don't count. Hmm, I guess I could. Eh, I don't really want to, though. I think we saw enough goblins last episode, honestly. Like, the Goblin City as well, like, it's a legendary location, but I'd probably put it down as, like, my lowest one. Who lives here? I can't really tell. Eh, I guess I probably won't do it. It's a shame, but by and large, whenever we go down to the south, generally speaking, like, the contracts just suck, and obviously, once again, still no tournaments. And now I'm having to do, like, one-score contracts just to make a bit of a living. Although I am quite close to Careboard, so I will go back there next and pick up our lump sum that has been sticking there. Like, I'm probably just going to breeze past a lot this episode just because there's not, unfortunately, much going on. It's like the... Oh, God, what's going on? You best come and see with your own eyes. Ah, uh, Soupy! He is a flagellant, though, so he probably loves a bit of it. Right, can these green skin short so I can just kill them quickly? You're making me waste money here. Come on! Well, it looks like we don't have a choice. We've got to fight goblins, because they're the ones that are causing a ruckus at Elfenstein. Not that I'm a big fan of them having any sort of elevation, because once again, the way I came, I came down on them. Like, I, I was on the hill, so really I should have the elevation, but... Once again, the one thing that I don't really agree with the game is is the is the map setup for where you are on the map sometimes. It just doesn't seem to transition very well, but whatever. If that's the one small thing that I don't like about the game, then it's doing a pretty good job. Right, we've wiped two of them. Um, this should hopefully be pretty quick in terms of, you know, the actual fight. I'm going to wait to see what we do. Probably shoot arrows, I would imagine. Yeah? You want to shoot arrows? Yeah, you want to shoot some arrows. Let's pretend that this group is like a dredge that escaped from a goblin city, and now it's time to finish the blood payment that we started at the end of the last episode. Are we done with the nets? You want to throw any more nets? Are we done? Are we good? You got out your system? Or your shoulder, I guess? Good. Right. Time to wreck it. Not Ralph. I don't even have a Ralph on the team. Anyone else begin with R? Maybe. Maybe not. Oh boy, those were unlucky shots. Come on now. I'm going to switch to the actual uh, throwing weapons in a sec. See so yeah, I get in a little bit close. On guard? Hmm, on guard? You just go slowly filter through. That's fine. Anyway, you're dead. Switcheroo, thank you. Wow. I think we... In some cases, it feels like we need to go back to basics a little bit today. Man. Incredibly unlucky rolls. That's a bit better. I mean, that's a lot better. He's dead. Give him a tickle. No. No, Mr. Tickle. I mean, that's a guy from Brainiac, technically, but I think. 
from from I, I'm accessing my memory from a very long time ago. Brainiac, right? This should be fine. This is also more than fine for now until he gets you know stabbed with a dagger and loses most of his health because that's what goblins do. Oh, you just circumvented them completely. I thought they were gonna go for Jimothy, but all right. Cool story. Go for my backliners. That's fine. They know how to fight in close quarters, so good luck with that. But you're all probably going to run soon, so... I'm just saying you are. See? Uh, J Trench? Get the dagger. Mm, feels kind of mean. Justified. Break, break out. Just, just break out. What do you think you're doing? Eh? That's fine. Uh, slam, slam. In the back of my Dragula. It's an easy reference. I don't have to think about it. Bonk. <laughs> Brutal. Right, don't let him escape, will ya? Van Dabby Dozy. Up you pop. Uh, I don't want you to risk the hound. It's probably fine. There we go. Run away. I do not know what you guys were thinking. But it's going to end with all of your demise. That's fine. Attack the guy with the most armor. That's cool. Yeah. Paradox can take it. Whew. Wow, French. Damn. All right. Nice work. Nice work. Uh, can you get up there? Kind of. Only a bit. Right, you're running. Good stuff. You're dead. See you in the next life. Well, actually, I hope not. Get out of here! Slam, slam. Jump there. Make sure they can't run away. Perfection. Slapped to death. Dog? Yeah, dog. Why not? God, that was Trench stabbing him. Damn, man. Don't mess with Trench in close quarters. Paradox holding him down. Very good. Switch to the bow, although I don't think you can... Stand here? Stand here? Maybe not. Yeah, it's fine. There's only two of them left. Let's just finish off, shall we? Seal the deal. Damn, man. Look, buddy, you're dead. Accept that you're dead. Oh, God. I, I almost shot someone else then. See ya! Cool. Well, at least that was a bit more painless than I thought it was going to be. With goblins, they are an absolute pain in the arse, and the sooner we're done with them and we never have to fight them again, the better. Unfortunately, that is the case this time. Oh, there's a group of undead. And a group of brigands? Weird. Any uh, food for me, please? Wow, no food, no tools. Well, Helfenstein sucks. Actually, one, 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 wait, 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 wait. Nah. And also, nah. Oh, well, there is a free score contract, which I might come back for, just for the sake of the money. It's all about the money, money, money. Ugh, God, do I have to? Well, there wasn't really anything interesting happening at the rest of those cities, so I've taken a quick trip back to Walheim, and then I'm going to skip over to Kerbod, because we're back up here now. Oh, well, I guess we'll try and find something fun up here for a bit today. It was like something's going on. Oh, wow, 170 crowns. You shouldn't have. All right, now we're back at Kerbod. I've done a bit of a switcheroo with the party a little bit, so we're getting some people in that we haven't seen in a while. Everything seems to be okay up here. Our money situation has sort of got a little bit better. It has resolved itself slightly. I think what I've noticed as well, when I looked at, like, hiring mercenaries again, it says that there's nobody to hire, so I'm sort of now under the impression that that every time you want to have a mercenary company at Care Board, you have to go through another company from 40 men. So you've got to do that every single time just to get another mercenary company back. That's a bit shit. And it's a little kind of, it's kind of like not worth it. Um, and to say that they just like pissed off last time and they didn't just, they didn't really come back or anything. So they might respawn, I don't know. I'm just going to see what happens. But that is what I'm gathering. And once again, reading into how much we get from this like we get the recipe for the water skin but we still got to pay 20,000 crowns every time we want to use it I think I have to double check that but I'm pretty sure that's correct so it's a bit like we've got to do that massive ridiculously wonky fight 
just to get the opportunity to pay 20k to fix one person, which then might die in the next fight. So I'm finding it, like, less and less... Like, I'm not really seeing that much of a point of doing it, really. Uh, what I am going to try and do for the rest of this episode is try and find that bastard tree. Because I do have Wayne in my party, and I did promise I would fix his knee. And I will fix his knee today, I swear on it. Or he'll die. One of the two. I only do extremes. So, strap in, Wayne. You're either going to die, or you're going to have a brand new knee by the end of this session. Uh, I'm hopefully going to see if I can find any other legendary locations to wipe off. Maybe find the Kraken place as well. Not that I really want to do it. Just because of last time. I still might end up doing it. Oh, I've only got 19 out of 20. Oh, maybe this is the time I sidle around and go get the uh, guy from the arena as well. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to go for a bit of an adventure. All right, so I'm going to go into the wild from Graffitstar and just basically go east and cut through most of this, like, fog of war that we haven't seen yet. And hopefully that will give us the most dividends. Um, no, I'm sorry, buddy. Go your own way. I'm looking for... I'm keeping my spot open for someone very specific, so, uh, fuck you too. See you later. Hoo-hoo-hoo! <laughs> right. Either this is going to completely bankrupt us, or this is going to be the best adventure ever. I hope it's the latter. I really do, but... We've still got a few legendary locations which we haven't found yet. Like, we haven't found the statue, we haven't found the tree, we haven't found where the Kraken is... Uh, a few more here and there that I can't quite remember. Um, have we found the whole graveyard yet? I don't know if we have. Usually that's in like the tundra and the snow though, so... That's not gonna be anywhere close, I would imagine. And the tree, I imagine, is like miles away. Right, let's get some of this fog out of the way then. Huh. Huh. Well, I'll be damned. Why would you put it in a swamp, though? Grim. Finger bones like fallen totems. Thighs hewn three of the knees as though foresters have set up upon a gloomy work. Curved ribs scattered across the earth like they were under a ship's right appraisal. And the skulls, totering on the wedges of jawbones, held up like animistic abodes of shamans. Molars the size of shields that any man could crawl through its eye socket. Looking past the unhold skeletal remains, you find plenty more fanning out into a valley. The heaviest of the bones stay where their owner's breath had last ushered them, where the smallest of the sort have long since rolled to the valley ditch, and settled there in a wash of white wimpled with whatever flesh and fur remains. You've no reason to believe that none other than the unholds themselves plotted their demise here. Violence is not in their shapes, they are sitting up or laying down in peaceful eternities. And indeed, Linus points out a great giant, which seems to have recently laid itself to rest. It is nestled into an earthen nook, with its hands wrapped a a bo over its knees, and its head tilted on a shoulder. It watched the sunset, and will do so for many years to come. Not that you care, you order the men to fan out and collect what they can. Some of these bones or pelts or whatever they've brought could be of great use to the company. And they will be. I just think it's a bit weird that it's down here. Usually, I think in every single session of playing Battle Brothers, I've only ever found the Unhold Graveyard, like, all the way up here somewhere. Never seen it in the middle of the map, or like, down south, but hey, whatever. Do what you want, game. It's your game. Okay, so there's not really much going on, and I am hissing money away. What's that? Eh, I mean, I might come and slap some of these places down if we start running out of food and we need to start eating orcs, which... I'd rather not eat orcs, but if I, if I have to, then I have to, man. I haven't really seen any champions. Hello. Uh, we'll come back for that. We will come back for that. <laughs> One day, we will come back to that. Ugh, God. The Kraken, boys and girls. Well, at least we know where it is. It's a bit of a walk, though. Last time, it was, like, quite near civilization. Now, it's just miles away. Well, I guess I'll just keep walking around this dank space and hope for the best. All right, look, be a Wayne Senior tonight. It wasn't actually that far from where the Kraken resides, so I guess that's a good thing, I guess? Um, I did accidentally walk into it, so it went straight into the event, and I was like, well, well, hang on, I'm not ready to talk yet, but here we are. You stand at the edge of the forest clearing, and the sight they're in beggars belief. A trunk of a human body runs up out of the earth like a slender tree, naked and bristling, goosebumps for bark, continuing upward as it is twice as tall as yourself. There are no branches, there are no hands. There are, instead, a series of human heads bound in a bunch where a tree could crown should be. From left to right, they are babyish and beautifully present, ambiguously sexless, malformed creatures of time, it seems, where the shadows they themselves 
Orpha turn their faces from ones. Oddly familiar, they're strangely naive. As they stare about as though they know not how they got there, and seem ever ready to ask it of you. It reminds you of a drowning that ha you happened upon, the face contorting beneath the running river water, the flesh suffering nothing short of constant conjecture as to what put it there. Whispers sift in from the trees, they riffle over the ground as if spoken by the bugs, and they clamber up to your arms until they scratch at your very ears, they ask you to stay. Well, let's see what this is. Upon entering the clearing, the bizarre creature straightens up, swaying its heads from side to side like a peacock, readying a display. They speak to you. The Elder. Yes, here. Yes, him. We know him, we do. The faces warp and discolor, as though blenished in the wake of the words, leaving their very mouths. Slowly they reform to speak again, a grotesque panoply punctuating itself, one head at a time. Drink a little. Heal all. Drink all. Become one. You look down to see an earthen overhang curving across a puddle the size of a plate. There's a faint trickle as water drips into it from the overhang, and from the, where that water comes is anyone's idea. You look up to see the faces looking down, their appearances moulding, from anguish to happiness, to surprise, to fear, to confusion. Familiar. Always familiar. Drink. Little. Yes. No. Drink. All. Looking back down, you take out your water skin and pop the cork. I'll just, I'm just going to take a little. You crouch beneath the grotesque tree, the heads sway downwards, the shade coming with them as though someone were placing the lid upon a basket. When you look up, they stare from a foot away, rippling and forever moving. Yet one on the far end is very still, its face is stuck as an old man's grimace, the brow furrowed, the jowls taut, the elderly lines ever creased as if the fury was folding upon itself like a well-crafted sword. A bulb of darkness surrounds it, the penumbra pulsing, as if the head was staring in from another world altogether. Hands firm, you take the water skin and pour out its contents. Emptied, you put it beneath the dripping overhang and listen to each drop hit its bottom. The faces lean in ever closer, surrounding you in a cone of chaos. As they draw near, you can hear the tearing of their reality as they come to and fall out of shape. The water skin shakes in your hand as if you had to hold it against the surge of a waterfall. You yank it out from the overhang, and as you tumble backwards, you realize the heads have long since reared upright. Rolling over, you crawl your way to your feet and run out of the clearing. Seemingly safe, you look back to see the creature is gone. There is nothing there at all. No tree. No fountain. The water skin, however, remains. Well, best keep this somewhere safe. And I know exactly where that somewhere safe is. Right inside Wayne Senior's stomach. Right, so how, how much did this do to you? Your initiative, your range, your melee. Well, no more, good sir. I mean, you are still senior, it's not going to replace you being an old bastard. Although technically you are not old, we're just going off the game, but you are old, so here you go! Da -da 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 -da! Wayne Senior's knee is fixed, and his, well, I mean, he's got an okay melee defense again. I mean, it's more to do with, like, his initiative and stuff, but, uh, yeah, he's back. Wow! That bounced up again. Great stuff! He is a full person once again. It only took, like, 30 episodes, but we found it. And that's definitely worth it more than just spending, you know, 20,000 crowns every time. I'm still a little bit dubious as to whether I'm actually going to end up doing it. If every time I want to get a mercenary group, I have to go fight 40 big bad guys. So it's a bit... Is the reward worth the risk? I'm starting to think it kind of isn't. Anyway, let's go do, like, one more fight just to test out win. Now that he's fixed up again. And then I'll probably call it there for the day. At least we saw some... We basically cleared up most of the legendary locations just by walking around, which is kind of nice. But no bloody champions, where are they all? Well, I didn't technically walk into their camp, I think they walked out at me. Because I was walking downwards and then it said Goblins 23 on top of a the camp they were in. And now they're here, so... But there is also two champions, not that I really care too much about it because they're two Goblin champions. But they have, they have come to pick a fight with me, so let's show the full power of Wayne now that he's back in action. I would like that very much. Well, I hope I'd like that very much. Oh. Not a great start. Well, you've already started smacking the champion. Nope. Sorry. Can't root him. Can't be done. Uh, also, get out of there. Don't do it. Cool. He did not do it. We're not great at 
getting us out of that, those things, are we? Not fantastic. I mean, he's already... Damn! Where are you? Right there. But one of our champs has already lost their armor completely. So there's that. And we've killed one. Come on now. This is supposed to show off Wayne's new knee. Nobody get butchered, please. I'm not about that. Not right now, anyway. Swing! Get him out of there, will you? You guys are... Okay, nondescript. He didn't fire either, so that's good. Alright, well. And once again, it's another frigging out. What was that? Can we quit it with the nets, please? I can see three more nets as well. No, four more nets. Well, I mean, that helmet's kind of working out, I guess. God, they really want to kill Jimothy, don't they? Linus, don't do it. Right, fro do me a favor. Get all your nets thrown. Because I want to be done with them, all right? All right, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that shit. Okay, we good? Good. I can tell him, like, a toddler to put all his toys back in. Ugh. Bloody Nora. Fine. Do that, mate. God, bloody Gatling Gun Breeze over here. That's what we call him. You out? Good. Back off a bit. Shouldn't have done that. Ah, oh, an 80% miss? Really now? Right, get out of there, please. Hold that fort. Who are you gonna shoot? Oh, you're gonna move? Alright, alright, alright. Wait! Wait! Nice. I was just kind of trying to do it to kill one of them to scare them a bit, but you're kind of getting a bit on the stuck side here. Swing! Get angry! Well, I'm pretty sure that one's on nine lives, so he's probably not about to have a... He's not having a great time. Uh, back up Michael, will you? Sometimes he needs it. You know, it won't admit it, though. Haha, <laughs> you are not getting away that easy. It's not even going to be a good one. I mean, it's a spear. So I guess I can see if, like, Quack can use it, or Steeny can use it, or... Quit that. Quit it. This is what I mean about not having a shield. It is kind of a bit of a detriment at the moment. Nice try. Ah, bloody wolf riders. What a pain in the arse. Ah, Breeze is fine. He's dealt with worse. Probably. Right, are we done with are we done with nets? Slash can we be done with nets? Bloody Christ. There we go. Right. Get annoyed. Get more annoyed than that. <laughs> nice, nice try, buddy. Nice try. Bit worried about Jimothy. Which I mean I'm I'm very worried about Oh man, guys! Better. Wayne, don't be messing. He does not be messing. Can you kill this guy? Thank you. And then break out, Prince of Police. Get up there. That should be okay. Hmm. Okay. Not ideal. Ooh, that was a resounding smash that made everybody run. Hello. Okay. Turn it around. Even if only slightly. Quit it. Okay, I don't like that. Come on now. Right, at least you wasted most of your turn doing that. So that's fine. Ah, criminy. Goblins don't quit. They just don't quit. They just don't quit. 
Well, I'll make him quit the hard way then. That is, that's the hard way, by the way. Okay, fair enough. You are a bit knackered because you have been attacked quite a bit. Uh, boy, one. Breeze hasn't given up just yet. These guys might have, though. They might have. Can you get him out? You got yourself out. Can you get you out? Not quite. Now, swim. Push back in. Man. Wayne is the master of movements today. You get out. You get him out. That'll do. Nope. That was the... Yeah, that was Skrok, the elusive, who's now not elusive, he's just plain dead. Hmm, what's the chance of that? Okay, fine. Move back slightly. You're okay. Get him. Ooh, right in the face. Also, more or less, right in the face. Nice. Revenge is a dish best served when you're killing goblins. See ya! Oh, mate. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Hiya. Wayne. The Wayne train is at full force at the moment. Okay. He's gone. Don't care. You're not getting away. Neither are you, buddy boy. All right. Kill the Overseer. Let's be done with this, shall we? Nice! Well, that was an unexpected fight. That was not the fight I was aiming to sort of, like, end the day on, but I... I mean, that's crap, man. I think it's crap. I mean, I, I will confirm it's crapness in a second, but I think it's crap. This is what I mean. They popped out here. There's still... Wait, there's still more of them in there. Really? Ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. Well, yeah, look. But I think it's crap. I'm, I'm pretty adamant it is. 25 to 35. I mean, yeah, 10% more ignores armor. And it, the fatigue is basically non-existent. It puts Quack up to 71 fatigue. So that is one thing. But that's it. And also, it costs 6 fatigue instead of 8 fatigue, which is something, I guess. But it's, yeah, it's not great. I, I mean, I guess I could give it to, like, Ostini. But once again, it's not really... It would make him go to 65. Go on, you know what? Try it. Why not try it? I don't think it's going to make much of a difference, though. I'm not using this thing. Anyway, we have done quite a few legendary location searching and finding. We have now fixed Wayne's Gamini, which I'm sure he'll be very happy about. And uh, that means he has another chance at life, I guess, and to also avenge his son even more. Although I think you've avenged your son enough now, buddy. You've, got, you've killed 206 people and things and monsters and God knows what else out there. Um... But I am going to leave it there for today. I have got one space here, so I will go down and pick up our arena friend from Tanweir at the start of the next episode, and then I will sail around back to Careboard, pick up Alwyn, and do the Sunken Library. That's going to be a bit of a nightmare. I'm also going to look into the Stronghold mod a bit and see if this whole mercenary thing that you've got to do that count contract every time you want one set of mercenaries, because that does seem a bit eh if you've got to do that, but we'll see what happens there. But so let's quickly do the roll call. Let's see what's cracking with the people who are currently here with us. So Darth, you are on 111. Jimothy, you are on 22. Michael, you're on 384. Francis, you're on 32. Colgan, you're on 291. Nehemiah, you're on 97. You're almost at 100. Linus, you're on 10. That's a big jump up. Albertus, you're on 284. Wayne, you're on 206. Poker, you're on 331. Cold Breeze, you're on 196. You're almost on 200. Maximus, you're on 413. You're almost at the big old 420 number. Archie, you're on 23. Centurius, you're on 236. Terra, you're on 147. It's that number from the snooker again. Pyagazia, you're on 233. Cyril, you're on 213. Ostini, you're on 37. And Quack, you're on 258. And it's nice to have you back because we haven't seen you for a while. Quack is back, baby. Uh, but yeah, Max Maximus is obviously pulling away again because he's got some insane power there and also he can kill three things at once, so, you know. Uh, but he, you know, he's also a really good character. But everyone's doing great. So, next time, final character, Sunken Library, 
And then after that, I guess we'll see what happens. I guess it's going to be the monolith after that. Ugh. But if you enjoyed this episode, feel free to check out the rest of the channel. I'm sure there's more in there that you'll enjoy. Feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell as it does help support the channel and myself overall. If you can't wait until the next time we're going out with the shows, feel free to join the Discord. Links in the description below or also on the channel itself. And if you'd like to support the channel a little tiny bit more, feel free to buy me a cuppa on coffee in the link right in front of you. Ciao for now, guys and girls. Ciao for now from the Chodes.